Hi, today I'm going to show you CDSW running on CDP Private Cloud, which is possible in CDSW 1.7 and later. This is the Cloud Error Manager interface for a very simple CDP Private Cloud cluster I'm running. And as you can see, we're managing an instance of CDSW with all the normal monitoring and management features that we're used to. While we're here, let me show you one thing that's new in CDSW 1.7. We've introduced feature flags that you can manage through Cloud Era Manager to turn on experimental or optional features of CDSW. I'm going to search under configuration for feature flag. And uh, you can see that I've set the feature flag for quotas to true. The quotas feature is still in technical preview and by default it's hidden. But if, as an admin, you do want to enable this experimental feature to set limits on the amount of CPU, GPU, and memory that a single user can consume, you'd add this JSON data here, and similarly for any other experimental or optional features that you want to enable. Okay, let's head over to CDSW. One new feature I'd like to highlight in CDSW 1.7 is applications. Often when a data scientist develops a solution to a machine learning problem, they also want to build some kind of front end, maybe a simple Flask app for their internal business consumers to interact with. CDSW now gives you the ability to deploy such a front end as a long running app with a stable human readable URL to access it. I'll briefly show you what this looks like. In this project, Customer Churn Insights, we have already deployed a model and this model uh, will predict the probability that a customer will churn when they call the call center and also provide the specific factors that lead to that prediction. So if I click test here to test that REST API and we can see the results that will give us the probability that this customer will churn given the uh, factors about the customer that we've provided and it will also give us an explanation as to why it's come up with that probability. And this is very useful for, uh, for example, a downstream system to, uh, to consume this REST API. But we might also want to attach some sort of simple UI for our business users. In this case, we've put together uh, something simple using the Flask framework. Uh, so if I go to this file here, we can see, um, we can see the, the code that is uh, creating and, and deploying this Flask app. And if we go over to applications, we can see that uh, in, this, um, in this application here, if I look at the settings, we can see that I am selecting that particular file that I just showed and selecting the language and the resources that we want to use for this application. And I'm also specifying a subdomain where I want to host this application. And so if I now go and actually open this application, we can see here that simple UI that we put together where rather than just getting the information in JSON, I can actually interact with this and see, uh, go and have a look at why this customer's churn probability was given as this value and even try out some different scenarios to see how that would affect the probability. Okay, so that is applications. One other thing that I'd like to show on the admin side is monitoring. So uh, previously you've been able to see all of this information about the state of the cluster today and also go and have a look, for example, at the activity and see the, the history. Uh, we've also now introduced a Grafana dashboard uh, where you can go and see things in a little more detail uh, we have already created some dashboards that you can use. So for example, we have this cluster focused dashboard uh, with a, a, a bunch of different charts, uh, but you can also then customize that yourself and create your own charts or your own dashboards. Finally, I want to show you that quotas feature that, uh, that I showed that I enabled through Cloud Era Manager earlier. So here we can see that we have the quotas feature on and we've enabled a per user quota of four CPUs and 16 gigabytes of memory so that no user can use more than that amount of, of resources and prevent a problem with one or two users hogging all of the resources. 
but maybe I've just heard from the director of machine learning that Shaolin has a very important project that's going to require more than four CPUs. So I can go and add a custom quota for that user specifically, and I can uh, go and increase the number of uh, CPUs, let's say to eight and the amount of memory to 32 gigabytes and perhaps also enable GPUs for that user and then add that and now I've added that specific quota for that user without affecting the quota available for all of the other users. That's all I'm going to cover for today, but just to recap, all these features are available in CDSW 1.7, which is fully compatible with CDP 